In today's world of no hub bands, this wouldn't be a problem. But let's go back old school because I want to show you how it used to be done 50 years ago everywhere. If you're a plumber that still does lead milkum joints, okay, don't give me a hard time. I hadn't done this in a while, but today we're gonna pour a horizontal joint with a running rope, and we're gonna show you the way plumbers used to put together everything with lead milkum. But lead is dangerous. No way. Yes way, Ted! By 1986, the EPA took it out of our drinking waters, the Safe Water Drinking Act. There are certain times you can use lead in plumbing, and sewer pop is one of them. We're not gonna use a tie seal gasket. We're not gonna use a no hub band. So first of all, as you see, these are not blocks of gold. Well, they're blocks of lead. Not worth near as much, but if they were, I'd be on vacation right now. And then you got your oakum. Now, man, this stuff is just, it always felt nasty. It always feels damp. But this is what actually seals the joint off. It's not the lead. When you pack the oakum in and pack it in right, and oakum gets in there and when it gets wet, it swells up and seals off. Now it almost feels, well, it does feel like oiled down rope. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you how to put it in, how to pack it in, and then we're gonna pour a horizontal joint. So one thing I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my pot. No, not that kind of pot. I'm gonna fire up my lead pot. I'm gonna fire up my burner and get it heating. That way this lead has time to heat down. Now, it's been a long time. I'm gonna have to see how this goes. When we get over here, you can see we've got everything here. We're gonna go ahead and turn this valve on. And as you see, we've got a little fire there. I used to have some out on the job site that literally it just screwed right to the tank and that was your burner. Just had to be real careful not to knock it over. I like what we've done here. We have taken a burner for a fryer. We've got it set up. I'm gonna slide this pot right over here where I want it. And as you notice, guys, I've got my gloves on. You wanna be real careful working around lead, anything like that. I've got my safety glasses on, I've got my gloves on. Let's get some lead in here and get it melting down. Uh, I'm not worried about how much I put in because you always used to keep your lead pot halfway full, thereabout. That way, you knew you could get your ladle down under the full, you wanted to skim the top off and get good clean lead, and it up and it will melt itself down. So if you remember from the last video, I told you, you wanna pack your come down to where you leave about an inch for the lead. So if you look how wide this is, it's gonna go two joints around, Gonna give me a couple of inches there, which is gonna come out just about right. Okay, so I've got a couple of irons here. Now, I'm gonna slide this apart because I wanna show you. We've got a little jig belt here where we can slide this back and forth. The cool thing is, now, this is not cut perfectly straight, but you know what? That's probably the way it would be in the field. Now, if you look down inside the fitting, it's got a spot where that pot sets in and beds in at. That's so that you, you're gonna have good laminar flow through there. Whenever we get this thing packed in, that lead will swell up and seal this off, and we know that we're gonna be okay. Now, there's a piece of pipe we literally cut out of a joint out in the field, and this is the way it had been installed, so we're gonna go ahead and use it. And we know that we've got these blocks cut to where it's perfect. Perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. We, have this is some thick freaking oakum too. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Getting warm still over here by this fire too. Squish that. Come. On. All you need to know is to squish that. Come. On. We bought extra fat yolk or something. I felt like we broke it into three strands whenever it came in that big beefy. I don't know, but it's, it's not, it's pushing it all in here now. I don't have room on the back. All right, so you see how big the yokum is? What we're gonna do, we're gonna take it and unstrand it, meaning they've got it wrapped. So it's kind of a tight spot here once you get everything lined up. Squeezing that whole thing in there is gonna be hard, so we're gonna take one strand at a time 
I've got a long iron and a short iron. I try not to use the long iron as much because it's real narrow, but whenever I need to push it deep, it works really, really well. Now, one thing I do too that I don't know if you can see it, when I push it in, I'm not necessarily holding it flat on the pipe. I turn to turn it at an angle. I'm not gonna push any holes in it to where I go all the way along the pipe or all the way up by the fitting. Now one thing you wanna to do too, you wanna to look at it and make sure you've got your pipe center. It can easily get pushed. If you push too much oakum in on one side, you can push that pipe over and it can be really hard. Just to check my one inch, I can take my iron and make a mark on it and go through and push it in all the way around and see how close am I. And we're getting into the oakum. There's still some places where it can go just a little bit further. I need to pack it a little better. Remember, you want that inch because you want enough lead in there that when you start packing it down, you're not just going right through it. You've got enough lead that it's gonna pack it down and stay right where you want it to stay. No, and that, that may be what I do. May pick it up, see how heavy it is. And... It's just gonna be a couple, three pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds. And I don't have hot gloves. Oh well, it looks like it, the floor held up. Paul used to wear hot gloves. All right, so we've got the Oakum in place. Go ahead and get out the running rope. These are something that when you need it, there's not much else that'll work. Now what I like about these, the way they're designed, you literally put it together all the way around the pipe. It's got a clip on it to help hold it in place where it squeezes it the way it sticks out, it squeezes it right up against the end of it. Now, again, I wanna feel it and make sure we're not pulling the joint out any, but then you get this in and you've got this opening right up top. Now the rope is gonna hold it up against the cast iron all the way around so it controls your flow and make sure that you're pouring right into the joint where you want it. If you let it ease out, anything like that, your lead's gonna come out here, it's not gonna do very good. We used to always put them in and then just take an iron and just tap it just to make sure you've got it in as far as it'll go all the way around. You wanna make sure that you've got a good, nice triangle right there at top, because that's where you're gonna pour your lead in and then it's gonna run around to the bottom and fill up and then once that fills up, good to go. Now, this little ladle's not quite gonna cut it. So you know what? We're gonna get rid of it, but We got the big dog. So I've got everything ready here. What I'm gonna do, and I've cleaned off the top of the lead. What I'm gonna do is fill this up and control my pour and go until I've got it filled up. So let's see what we can do here. It looks like it almost filled it up. Now I did. Now, you wanna to try to get that in one pour. Man, I completely understand. We've ordered some bigger ladles too, but I got in here as quick as I could, poured it again, so we'll take it apart here in just a second and see what it does. It actually cools down pretty quick. All right, so now that we've got it set up and cooled, see how easy that came off? That's the way it should do it. It looks pretty good. Like I said, we just got a little bit of extra lead on it. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna do is cut off this, the triangle. Now, you can take a chisel, you can take different things, but I figure since this is old school, why pull out the power tools, you know? Now, I've got two different irons here. I have an inside iron and an outside iron and you can tell by the angle. What you wanna do, the inside iron, 
goes right up against the pipe and it's gonna push the lead down and then towards the center. The outside iron, you pull right up around the outside by the fitting and you do the same thing. It pushes the lead down and pushes it towards the middle. Then you take a flat iron, go around to pack it in tight. So I'm gonna take my inside iron first, right up against the pipe. Okay, now that I've got the inside pushed out and the outside pushed in, I'm gonna take a center iron. And this is one of the the same one that I used to pack my oakum in, but it's got a broad, flat surface here. So now I'm kinda go around in the middle. Now different people had different ways of marking their joints. Now that I've got something that we use with leak source, the leak detection equipment, Actually, can take this down, put it right here at the lead. This is a joint anybody can always go back and look at now. See my initials on it. Just like this, just like anything else we do in plumbing, do it right, make it look good, and take pride in your work. This is a lot of fun to do. If you enjoyed this one, definitely check out the one that I did vertically. You're gonna enjoy that one too.